I'm going to use this discharge equation for voltage to show you what the RC here represents. Okay, so we define the RC um, as the time constant. Okay, so we can write instead of that, we can write tau, which is the symbol which actually represents RC. Now, the time constant is defined as the time it takes for the charge current of voltage to decrease to 1 over E, which is 37% of the initial value. So why is this? Because if at the top, instead, if you have E, instead of uh, time, if you have RC over RC, that becomes E to the power of minus 1. So this number, and also if, you, if you're charging, it's actually 1 minus 37%, which is 63% to reach 63% of the maximum value. Now this RC, the value, is very useful because it gives us an approximation for the time it takes to either charge or discharge um, uh, the circuit. This graph shows the exponential decrease in the voltage. We've been given the capacitance and we can also work out the resistance. A good thing to work out when you're looking at a graph like this is the RC, the time constant. So here is going to be uh, the time it takes to go from 6 volts, which is the starting voltage, to 37% of that. So that's 2.2 volts. So over here. So if you draw along that and you find the time, that time is RC, the time it takes to go to 1 over E of the starting point. So it's 32 milliseconds. Okay, and so we can use the fact that that's equal to RC. So 32 times 10 to the power of minus 3 equals R, which we don't know, times C. This gives us an R of 914 ohms. On the same graph, sketch a discharge of the same capacitor through a resistor with twice the resistance. <clears throat> so if we increase Time con uh, the resistance by times 2, then the, vol uh, the time constant is also going to increase by times 2. So the time it takes to go to 1 over E of the initial is going to double. So in this case, it's going to go from 32 milliseconds to 64 milliseconds. So it's going to be just off the graph here. So we can, same starting voltage and the exponential curve going through that point there. The circuit uses a capacitor to make a light bulb flash for approximately 0.5 seconds. Comment on the suitability of using a 10 kilo ohm resistor and a 4800 microfarad capacitor. So this, this case, we want to work out the time constant RC because this gives us an approximate value for how long this the bulb will for flash for. So in this case, if we work out RC. We get 48 seconds, which is much longer than the 0 0.5 seconds that they're trying to achieve in this circuit. So this, these components are not suitable for this circuit. They need to use capacitors and um, resistors with lower value. So you can say RC too large.